everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, appreciate you stopping by today. I am going to be doing uh, some more of a flip in my Fobonichi Daily Decorated Journal. And this is actually my current um, book. So I haven't even, if you saw my last video, you saw how big the last one was. I haven't even, hmm, this is April, May, June book. And so I've got April and May done, of course, so there's only one more month left. But I, I seriously did not do a page every day. Um, and some weeks I just did one page for the whole week. Um, tried to capture everything that went on that week, but um, I think you miss something when you don't do it every day. However, I have so many of these books and I'm just not sure what I'm ever gonna do with them all. I honestly, my daughter-in-law, she's so great and um, very sentimental and um, I, I know that she would keep them and she's already said she would keep them for the boys but I mean honestly if you got 60 or 70 books you can't expect somebody to carry those around for the rest of their lives but anyway I digress hopefully she'll just pick out the ones she really really likes and keep those for the boys um, but anyway, so here's my um, April, May, June. I honestly did not think I would make it this far. Um, when I first started doing this in the um, disc bound, I had a lot of issues with it. I mean, I liked it. There's pros and cons, just like anything. Uh, anyway, I did a video on my thoughts on doing that um, happy planner as a daily journal. And I've actually, I was more, probably a little bit more con then, but now I'm a little bit more pro. I kind of like it. I can't believe it, after this one, I only have one more. I had four covers and four sets of discs and whatever. Anyway, um, I guess that's enough rambling about that. But anyway, I do kind of like it because you get to use so many different kinds of fun paper. Um, so this is the April cover sheet that came with the Happy Planner kit. Um, if you don't know what a Happy Planner is, then there's tons of videos out there, I'm sure, about that. Um, and then this is the monthly spread they give you. Hopefully I'm still in frame. Um, so as always, I don't have a ton to plan. Um, so I really just did. I had a few doctors. Well, I had a lot of doctor's appointments in April. Um, mostly I filled in prompts. And then I just, you know, decorated with the rest of it. So I used washi down the sides. Added just some, added some little... Um, ephemera that I had cut out. Anyway, that was that. Um, and then this is the back of the page they give you, which has place for birthdays and what you're currently doing and, you know, other important stuff. I don't have a ton of stuff, I, you know, so there's not a lot for me to put there, but I, I like the page and so I just added it, blah. Anyway, so these were the April prompts um, and one of the groups that I belong to. And I actually did most of them. Maybe not all of them. There are two different prompts, a six word story and a bullet journal prompt. And I I don't think I checked off the last few, but I think maybe I did them. Anyway, um, so here's April 1st. And this is um, another um, article out of the Mantra Wellness Magazine. And then I had gotten some new um, eyelash trim. Uh, I made this one into a little bitty circle and then I because I, I wanted it to all stick out and then afterwards I realized it kind of looks like a big old sun ray except it's green slash blue color. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Um, this I found when I was digging through some stuff. This came from Elizabeth at Never Hopeless. I will try to remember to link her channel below. I believe she showed a tutorial on how to make these little pockets. I'll never be able to find that. But um, anyway, and she made this um, beautiful little tag and stamped on there, and then I did some journaling on the back. Anyway, it was just like this in my stuff, in my Happy Mail pile, and uh, I bet it's been there two years at least. So anyway, I dug that out and used it. I'm like going to stop hoarding things. Um, and then this, I cut this out of some like insurance, you know, those little freebie magazines they send to you. It's either... Um, I don't know, insurance or power company or something. Anyway, 
she was in there and I cut her out a long time ago and um, finally found a place to use her because um, the six word story was about a girl. And so I just loved that to go along with it. And then here is some more collage paper from Elizabeth that I used to journal on. And then on this page, this is actually a napkin that came in some happy mail. And then I just took some, uh, had some pink lined paper and I just used that to write on and ink the edges. Um, then here I was just showing my little spring mantle and this new little piece of mercury glass that I got and put up there. Um, I'm very late to the mercury glass um, I don't know, phase, whatever you want to call it. It's way over and I just started doing it like two years ago. So there you go. Um, and then I put this little thing from Pier 1. I found that I would love to find a little cute grouping like that, but I really don't have anywhere to put it anyway. Um, on this day, I cut this out of a Stampington magazine. And this artist, I kind of had to cobble together her picture because it was more like long, long and wide instead of skinny and narrow like that. But anyway, uh, Martha Slavin is her name. I want to make sure I can give credit for that. I did not do that. It's gorgeous. I wish I could do work like that. Um, and then on this page, actually this is a sticker. I'll show you on the back page. This was also in that little envelope that I showed you that Elizabeth made. This was um, inside there. And so I just put, I had this sticker that was just about the right size. So I put it on the back just so you didn't see the back. That was plain, whatever. Anyway, another um, thing from the Mantra Wellness about mindfulness and using your phone. Um, and then I just washi here, a little cute stamp there. I mean, sticker there. And just a bunch of, you know, talking about being mindful with your phone, which I do fairly good at. Um, and then just stuff about my day. Nobody really cares. Um, and then these are some things I cut. I cut out of a calendar, I won't call it a calendar page, um, but it was attached to a calendar, calendar page and Elizabeth had sent me a bunch of those and I cut that out and used that. And I love these little sock monkey, uh, sock monkey stickers. I'm almost, either almost done or that was the last one, I can't remember. And then here I did a little vintagey kind of page I got these, um, this is a stamp, um, both all of this came together with that, um, that I saw on Nancy's page. She had used one and so I went to the company she used, which I'd never even heard of before. I think it was Red, Red Lead? I don't know. But I really wanted this. I waited and I waited and I waited and then finally I was just like, what the heck, I'm just gonna get it. And then these are little Tim Holtz paper dolls. I just cut them off or whatever and made them fit uh, behind the film strip. So super cute. I don't know how often I'll ever use that because um, they're really too small for regular photos, but I don't know, may use them again, who knows. Um, and then this up along the edge, if you can see it, if I'm not out of frame, is just some stamping I did with some little peg stamps. And then my little date collage here and right here is this cute little fabric tag that I got from Brooke at Recreations by Brooke on her Etsy shop. I ordered a whole little package of tags. Tags, Most of them were paper, um, scrapbook paper, but this one happened to be out of cloth. I really like that. Um, and then I used some yellow paper here. Obviously you can see that. Um, Cut out a butterfly because I had this butterfly floating in the sun. This came off of an old calendar I had. Um, just journaling here about how my sister's coming for the for that weekend. Um, we've been doing sister weekends, trying once a month or every other month if possible. Um, talking about the weather, how great the weather is. And then I got this idea. Shoot, who did that? I can't remember now. Um, just taking... Um, Oh, it was Mixed Media Jen on YouTube. She, she just takes regular thread, just winds it up in this little mess, and then just 
you know, she puts it on her art. She does actual art, art, art. Um, but, um, and then she'll either put something over it or not, or she'll just glue it down like it is. But anyway, I just kind of copied that idea from her. Um, I like the little kind of messy look of that. Um, and then on this page, I used, this is an old tag that I've had for eons, and I went ahead and used it. I think I have two more of those. They came in like a little packet. Um, it has taken me probably three or four years to use this pack of 12 postcards. But anyway, so I um, just made a little pocket out of it, and then I put a photo of my view outside my kitchen window with my window full of azaleas. And then this was a little freebie that I got from Pink Paper Peppermints off of YouTube. Um, I subscribed to her newsletter and she sends little freebies out every month. And I used that for some more journaling. And then these are just some random little um, banners that I had, my grandsons came over like a long time ago and punched out a whole bunch of them. And I'm finally down to the last bits of them. And I think I'm just going to make that my last page because I'm not sure how long this has gone on. And I will just see you next time. If you would, hit the like button or the thumbs up button, I guess it's called. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to do so. And I appreciate you taking your time to watch today. Thanks so much.